and my beautiful Sagittarians, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do a South and North Node timeline reading. So whenever you come to the channel, doesn't matter when when it is, could be a year from now or a year from, a year from the reading, you're here now and you're meant to see this. So the South Node is called Ketu. It's baggage that we bring and talents that we bring that we're born into this lifetime with that's carried over from a previous lifetime it's also the tale that we drag from the past life and it carries both blessings and the blockages that we're meant to deal with in our life today this is in order to grow so it represents our gifts potential that we come to the earth with as well as our comfort zone now, it's also connected with karma from the past life. And everything that we didn't choose in this lifetime, be it our quirkiness or limitations, it's also challenges that we're destined to face in this lifetime and overcome because the past holds us back. It's everything that keeps us glued to the present moment. And it holds information about things that we already know and possess. And it's your spiritual safe zone. So it has its bad and its good qualities. Uh, it points to your blessings and abilities that you've inherited from your previous life. But the bad side of it is that you can't grow from your comfort zone. So let's see with the Lenormand cards. I feel you've got the fox ring and the scythe here. I feel that you brought your cleverness into this incarnation. You know, in the past you lived or you lied, I feel, about a relationship or business or a contract of some kind, but you definitely uh, were a workaholic and very deceptive. And with this came job losses and stress. I felt like a contract or relationship ended abruptly in your past incarnation and maybe you that's what you're here to fix in this lifetime now we've got your north node which is called rahu it is the light we are meant to follow to create a new better karma for ourselves so you know not being so deceptive in this lifetime it's where you're meant to end up spiritually and it's a place where our soul calls so you may be getting soul urges or a calling for a change it's associated to destiny and true purpose. So it usually requires you to step out of that past comfort zone and represent your potential. Um, you know, you're on a soul mission here and it's what you're meant to achieve. So it's where you're headed. It could be the unknown, it's the future, but it's blessings that are yet to be discovered in this lifetime. So while the South Node makes us comfortable, the North Node is where our true growth lies. So it's believed that it, uh, following your North Node, where true fulfillment and the key to your happiness lies. You know, the North Node often requires spiritual growth and self-work. You've got to work on yourself. And a lot of reflecting <clears throat> on your past experience will come to a point of true illumination. Now we've got the rider, the mice, and the man so you know this may be about working on yourself working on your health looking at your religions it can be saying uh, that you need to look after your health or your stress levels you may be receiving a worrying message that's come suddenly it could be news about you having surgery or an accident that's happened but it's left you feeling depressed and worried so there's some changes that need to take place here now your moon phase and what it means to you because the moon continually passes through cycles of growth and decline the phases of the moon are seen as symbols to guide your own personal growth and development now new moon meaning when the moon's fully in the dark there is a, no illumination from the sun it's uh, definitely symbolic of a quiet time and a time before something begins and changes now, it is known as um, your emotions and success in life, creativity, but you've got 
the sun that's come out so this is a good thing Sag I feel like this is a success based on something unconventional job success uh, maybe you're signing a contract that will be successful this time around and it brings with it a great relationship because you've made a positive decision and you're going to receive a great business, a visit from um, someone that's successful. So it's a successful encounter. But be careful of loss of energy because you may be overworked and feeling fatigued. There could also be a power outage in the home at this time when this visitor comes. But you will be charismatic and successful. Now I'm going to pull the, a card from the universe has your back. And we'll see what energy the universe is, or what message the universe is trying to tell you. Oh, thank you. Okay, three has fallen out for you. So we've got, I choose love no matter what. So choosing love over deception is definitely the best thing. Your capacity to tune into the energy of love gives you the words that you need when you're ready to speak up. The compassion you need when it comes to time to forgive and the power you need when you were lost. So definitely you were lost in a past incarnation. Now in any moment you can surrender to the powerful presence of love. They all uh, line up here. So through prayer, contemplation and stillness is what it's all, all about for you. Now one last card. Oh no, I'm going to pull... A card from the um, goddess, gods and guards, guardians. So let's see what else messages that we need to come through for our beautiful sages. What do they need to know, please, spirit? Okay, thank you. Let's see. And we've got Atamas telling you to be brave spirit you know um, knowing where to go look she's got the moon on her head so she's using her intuition let's see um, get a little bit more insight for you out of the book let's see what our time is here to tell you guys Okay, now she could be here to tell you to take a vision quest or nature retreat. So maybe, you know, that stressful news that you got, maybe you need time out, engage in outdoor pursuits such as hiking, horse riding and wild swimming. And maybe that's why the hat, the horse or the rider came up. It's also um, being more independent will benefit you now. You know, this is a you feeling your uh, spirit being free and being um, in authority, but owning it. So let's see, what else? Now, Atamas is here to tell you that you may be feeling filled with self-doubt. But she's here to fire up your courage, be daring and step into uncharted territory. Like I said, that uh, the past... South node is definitely um, where you're feeling more safe. And um, she's telling you to step into uncharted territory now. Take that leap of faith. What, what the fears just melt away. Um, embrace your inner warrior. Developing self-sufficiency is a positive step for you now. Do you ever spend time alone to nourish your inner life? Artamas is inviting you to view solitude as a central spiritual practice, especially if you rarely have an interval between intimate relationships or usually surrounded by people, which are quite busy. Now, the wilderness is a term that describes both uncultivated natural world and a state of inner one that has all ex existed, always existed within you. So the wilderness within can often be discovered through communion, with external wilderness, whether it's spiritual uh, retreat in the forest or just an hour away from regular life in the local park. 
meditate and ask yourself what might my brave spirit want me to know let the answer arrive like one of Artemis's arrows let the arrow pierce and dissolve all your fears of independence venture and new territories so you're stepping into a uh, new territory letting your spirit free and using your own authority by doing that so that's all i have for you guys i really uh, appreciate you stopping by but you know it's all about choosing love no matter what and getting that downtime for yourself here sagittarius love to you all bye for now